Welcome to Say Yes to Yoga. This session is all about showing you moves that you can do to help alleviate any pain in your lower back and to also keep that part of your back nice and flexible. So to begin with, bring your knees together into a kneeling position. Arms are by your sides. Allow the fingertips on one hand to slowly reach towards the mat as you bring the other arm up and over. If the fingertips don't reach the mat, you can always use a block. Just do whatever feels right. If you haven't got a block, rolled up blanket or a cushion or a pillow, anything that you've got to hand. Once you've done one side, of course we need to do the other. And again, you're going to the side, not forwards or backwards. So this is just helping to stretch out your left and right side. And then bring yourself to upright again. I'm just going to turn to the side now to show you child's pose or balasana. So you're pushing back towards the heels and bringing the forehead to the mat. You can stretch the arms out in front of you if you wish, or you can even bring them either side of the legs, palms facing up. As with many other poses, there are variations and you'll probably find one best suited to you. Bring yourself up into tabletop. Allow your abdomen to push towards the mat and look ahead. So you're curving your spine, pushing your tailbone out, keeping shoulders away from the ears. And then arch your spine the other way. Back into tabletop and once more into child's pose. Then bring yourself up to your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, inhale and push back into your downward dog position. Then walk or jump the feet forwards and slowly roll up the spine until you come to standing. We're now going to come into woodcutter pose, which is a dynamic pose. Take your feet wider than your hips, but not too wide because we're going to be bending the knees. The toes are going to point mainly forwards, although you may wish to point them out slightly for comfort. You're going to clasp your hands together, breathe in as you reach up, and then breathe out as you fold forward and also bend the knees, pushing the hands between the space in the lower legs. Breathe in to straighten back up, breathe out to fold forward and continue to use your breath at your own pace and probably do this I usually do it about 10 times so that gets a good movement going, a good flow. But of course, you do what's right for you. And then finish by bringing the arms out, relax and come back to standing. Coming into a balance now, so allow one leg to come up, the sole of the foot should be parallel to the floor and you're trying to bring, if I come round to the side so you can see, you're trying to bring the bent leg into right angles and then turn it out to the side. 
bring it back to centre and release and then of course you need to do the same for the other side and the key thing with this pose is making sure that your spine is nice and straight and that you are not folding forward You can use your hands or your arms to help you balance. I just left them at my side because that was easiest while I was explaining. And now take your feet wider than you did in woodcutter pose. So as wide as is comfortably possible. You're going to be folding forward and trying to bring your hands to the floor. So if you know that you can't reach the floor you may want to have a block or two to place your hands on so start with hands on hips take a breath in and then fold forward as you exhale then bring the hands down to the floor Take one hand into the middle so that you're looking down directly at it. Then raise the other arm and twist to look up at the fingertips. Then bring the arm down. You're going to swap over. Looking up at those fingertips. bring the arm back down you can rest here for a few breaths if you wish you can also take the hands out to the sides if that's comfortable and then breathe in to bring the body back up and then bring the feet together. Going into another balance now, so I'll just slightly turn to the side so that you can see better, and that will be lifting one leg up again, but this time you're either going to hold it underneath the thigh or at the front below the knee, and try not to fold forward, and just hold it there for up to three breaths pushing your standing foot into the mat and then do a nice controlled release and of course the other side and I know that this is my less stable side so as long as I don't fall over I'll be okay make an effort to make sure the spine is nice and upright and release now going to come down into a forward fold but your feet probably be best if they're in line with the hips because that will be a little bit easier if you do want to bring the feet together for more of a challenge you can Breathe in, reach up, you can include a back bend here if you wish, and then fold forward. Then you're grabbing your toes, your big toes, with your first two fingers, and then bending the knees. The crown of the head is pointing towards the floor. Your tailbone is being pushed up and away from you. And your chest is going towards your thighs. Elbows are out to the sides. From here, you can straighten the legs if you wish, just to give an extra stretch. And then release the hands and bring the body back upright. 
Coming towards the front of your mat. Mountain pose. And then reach up. Fold yourself forward, hands on the floor. Take your feet back into downward dog. Just take a couple of breaths here. And then bring the knees down so you are in your tabletop position. So just check your alignment. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Hands, knees, hips and feet all in line. Then this is going to be a movement as well as a balance. To start with, we're going to lift the right leg and push it back. And then we're going to bring the knee inwards towards the left elbow. But to make that easier, you're going to bring the left elbow towards the knee. So I'll just repeat that side again. You're pushing it up and back and then bringing the elbow towards the knee. It doesn't have to make contact. I'll just show you on the other side. So push the left leg out. So your balance is when you lift your right arm up and release. So just have a go, if you feel unstable at all, just have a go at pushing the right leg out and then bringing the knee in. And then from there, you can work on bringing the elbow. If that's a bit too much, or if you don't feel steady, you can do it one at a time. So I've just done the leg, and then you would bring the elbow towards that direction. So as I said before, there's variations of many poses. And as you can see, I'm not going super fast, going nice and slow. And then push back on your heels into Balasana or child's pose. Breathe in to bring yourself upright onto your knees once more. Make sure this time there is a gap between the knees. You can have your, the tops of your feet flat on the mat or toes tucked under. And then you're going to bring hands to hips, push shoulder blades together and push your abdomen forward and open your chest. And then straighten up. If you feel comfortable, you can reach one hand behind you to touch the heel and then swap over or you can reach the other hand at the same time to grab both heels. So whereas before you pushed your tailbone out and away from you, it's under you now. Breathe in to bring one arm back and then the other and back to kneeling upright. We're now going to do a roll. So make sure your knees are bent, arms are nice and straight, roll back, straighten the legs and then roll back up. Take it nice and slowly. And keep the arms straight all the time. Now 
and then straighten the legs out in front of you. Breathe in, reach up and fold forward over the straightened legs. Bring yourself back up to sitting and then cross your legs or come into lotus pose with feet on the thighs. Hands are rested lightly on the knees and you're going to do what I call torso circles. So moving first of all three times in one direction. You're moving your spine around in circles and then three times in the opposite direction. Don't worry about which side you start first or which direction you start first because you're going to do both directions anyway. And then to finish with we're just going to lie back down with bent knees, take our arms overhead, grab opposite elbows and allow the knees to fall out to the sides. So just relax in this pose for as long as you wish. bring the knees together, release the arms and bring yourself back up to sitting. So as with any yoga sessions or any yoga movements it's really important to make sure you warm up properly, you cool down correctly. These short videos I'm doing are just to give you an idea of the things you can do they're the kind of things I do in my class. I always try and adapt poses where needed so that they're accessible for everyone. If you do have any questions about how you can adapt a pose so it's suitable for you and your needs then please get in touch. Hopefully you found this useful and I look forward to hearing from you. Namaste.